All right, my fighters, so today we are going to break down the Super Saiyan 2, uh, 3 Goku Tag Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and we will see how good they are and let me know your opinion about them in the comments section below. Now before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about the Dragon Ball Legends and if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends. Now without any further ado, let's just get started. So as you can see, they are going to be ready type character their the ability is going to increase 30% to tag Saiyan, Son family and Vegeta clan base base blast attack and strike defense and plus 15% to episode Majin Buu Saja uh, Z base strike attack uh, their, their Z ability is as usual a very good ability for any legends limited character it is what you would expect from them uh, the unique abilities First, we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who is blue. Uh, he applies the following effects to himself. Uh, every time uh, he actually uses an arts card, uh, he increases the arts card draw speed by one level for four timer cunts, which is going to make it a very good ability without being overwhelming for the opponent. And then he applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special action. Oh, he is going to have a cover change nullification on card. That is going to be actually pretty good. That is going to be pretty good. Now he is going to have it for 10 timer counts and it activates only once. However, the, activa the activation count resets after tag switch. So he is every time he enters the battlefield from a switch, he is going to be able actually to use the, uh, the uh, cover change nullification, which is going to be very good for him to prolong the combo. Uh, so that is a very good ability for sure. Then we have Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, who is reverse uh, blue. If you don't know what reverse blue means, uh, it means that he is going to be strong against green characters, which he should have been weak against, and he is going to be weak against red characters, who he should have been actually strong against. So we have the following effects a cure when changing cover. So when you change cover, he is going to have these abilities. Randomly destroys one enemy card, Seals one enemy card slot, which is very good actually, that is going to be two cards away from your face, which means that the combo that the opponent is doing is going to be cut in half, which is pretty crazy actually. Then knocks enemy back to long range if cover change is performed against their blast attack. Uh, activates during assist and it is comboable with special move arts. That is a very phenomenal ability actually on ch uh, on changing cover and as Toshi said Vegeta is going to be specialized in basically defense uh, while Goku is going to be specialized in attack so it's similar to what they usually like to do with Vegeta in tag characters they always like to make actually Vegeta the defensive character that uh, excels at either card draw speed or maybe green cards or defenses uh, while they make the other character the character that deals the damage so we will see actually how good his damage is going to be but from now it seems like he is going to be actually more that more of a defensive unit than what he is going to be a damage dealer anyways let's go to the next one and here we are with the next one and as you can see super saiyan 3 goku uh, switch ability if unique gauge is full, this character enters transcendent Kamehameha uh, preparation mood. So basically, this is only if the unique gauge is full. If it's not full, he is just going to switch to Vegeta. If it is full, he, is, he isn't only going to switch, he is also going to enter the transcendent Kamehameha preparation mood. The following effects occur and own uh, unique gauge gradually decreases. Tag switch to Vegeta. Uh, I believe that this is going to happen, majority of this actually, is going to happen no matter whether the unique gauge is full or not. Uh, but there might be some stuff that happens only during the transcendent Kamehameha switch. So 
tag switch to Vegeta, this is going to happen. Reverse on element, this is going to happen. Uh, draw a special arts card next, this is going to happen as well. Restores on health by 20% if on remaining health is 50% or below. So this is going to happen as well, but only if your health is 50% or below. Minus 10 to special arts cost for 15 timer counts, this is going to happen as well. Reduces damage re received while in transcendent Kamehameha pre preparation mode. So this is going to happen only when there is transcendent Kamehameha preparation mode, so only when the unique gauge is actually full. Nullifies unfavorable element factors and damage uh, for damage sustained while in transcendent Kamehameha preparation mode. So this is also going to uh, to basically activate only if you are in the transcendent Kamehameha uh, preparation mode. And there is a reason for that because, as Toshi said, if you are in the preparation mode, then you won't be able to switch to to Goku. Vegeta is going to fight as a normal character, he is going to be alone, he can't actually switch. So he is going to have to hold his own against the opponents uh, until uh, Goku finishes uh, basically preparing for the Kamehameha. And as soon as Goku finishes his preparation, he just unleashes it. You don't need to do anything, even if you are in mid-combo where the opponent is combo comboing you, you are going to just directly unleash the uh, the uh, Kamehameha and you are going to deal damage on the opponent and by the way it deals damage on all three opponents. Toshi said that it's going to deal damage on, on the whole team, which is pretty crazy to be honest, like seriously that is going to be absolutely insane. Now the last one is seals enemies uh, rising rush for 15 timer cuts. And as you can see, it seems that Vegeta won't only be uh, not be able actually to switch to Goku, but he will also not be able to activate Rising Rush uh, in preparation mode, which is absolutely insane. Like seriously, that is going to hurt him a lot, but hopefully the uh, Kam Kamehameha is going to pay off for all of that. We will see. Anyways, let's go to the third one now. And here we are with the third one, and as you can see, we have Super Saiyan th 3 Goku again, why? Whatever. <laughs> Switch ability. Activates Transcendent Kame Kamehameha that targets the entire battlefield. Once own unique gauge reaches zero, so this is going to be actually when Goku switches uh, by force, like when, when the unique gauge reaches zero, he is going to switch by force, and no matter what animation is actually being held on, he is going to literally stop it and uh, basically counter it with his Kamehameha, which is pretty insane to be honest. Uh, applies the following effects to self and deals massive impact damage upon activation. Tag switch to Goku, uh, re reverses element factors, nullifies unfavorable element factors for two timer cuts. <laughs> like what is the point of this? <laughs> Literally what is the point of this? Anyways, nullifies enemies restores health when it reaches zero, which is very good. Uh, plus 30% to damage inflicted for two timer cuts. <laughs> if, it, if there is at least one defeated enemy battle member and plus 50 if there, if there are actually two defeated enemy battle members. So if there are two defeated enemy battle members, he tries to make it a legendary finish no matter how, how much the uh, opponent HP is, which is pretty cool. Most of the damage inflicted will also be dealt to enemy members on standby. The damage from this attack cannot cause uh, enemy members on standby to be defeated as usual. Uh, this attack cannot be evaded with a vanishing step, which is insane. Uh, this attack cannot be over over or cover changed against because it's literally just a counter, so you can't do anything against it. Um, own unique gauge will disappear after this attack hits, so you can do it only once. You can't do it more than one uh, time. In full power battle, this attack will not activate during a dual break. 
uh, and will instead activate once the dual break has finished. Okay, cancels abnormal, which is a, this is actually going to be very good to be honest, because that is going to help you to use it on the right time, uh, where you are going to be able actually to deal a lot of damage instead. Uh, cancels abnormal conditions uh, that restrict this character's movement, including immobilize, heavily immobilize, uh, flash and faint when they attack. That is very good as well, actually. So, as you can see, overall, they look pretty phenomenal. I think that they are going to be very good, actually. Uh, and their animations are spot on, like absolutely phenomenal animations. So if you ask me whether you want to summon or not, or wh whether you should summon or not, I think that it depends on what you prefer, uh, because these guys are going to be 100% fire, and if you like them, definitely summon for them. They are going to be 100% very broken. However, if you think that it is better or you prefer a different tag, remember that we have actually an ultra coming up soon, uh, maybe in two weeks actually, and then we will have also the fifth anniversary, which we are very, very close to. Yes, believe it or not, we are actually one month and a half away from the fifth anniversary, which is just unbelievable like seriously absolutely unbelievable we are so close to the anniversary so we will see what they are going to do here and as i said before if you want to summon absolutely summon they do deserve summoning for however if you think that it's better to save for the ultra character which most likely is going to be better than them or if you want to save for the anniversary that is also a very good choice so i really don't uh, this is one of the uh, this is one of the few uh, times actually where I can't give you a, de a decisive uh, answer because both of the choices are right. If you are a fan of these characters, they absolutely deserve summoning for. However, if you don't, if you aren't a fan of them, I think it's better to save actually either for the ultra. Uh, or for the 5th anniversary, because if this is the bait for the 5th anniversary, then you can just imagine what the 5th anniversary is going to be, like seriously, it's going to be absolute insanity. So we will see what they are going to do, and I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too, and if you got any useful information from this video, or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it, so that you stay notified with everything you about the Dragon Ball Legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.